Hello watch fans, it's Anas here on Watch On Channel. Today, the full review of this Orient watch I bought a few weeks ago. I was very pleasantly surprised by this watch and it was a very viewed video and I got a lot of comments and thank you a lot for watching the video and giving me a lot of cool comments. Now it's the time for the full review of this watch. So the box is the typical Orient box. It's kind of this faux leather and then you get this stainless steel plate with the Orient logo and the Orient name on top. And here we have the watch. This is one of four new versions of kind of a slimmed down a Triton Lite. The Triton watch, I actually bought a Triton after I bought this one. The real Triton is this popular Orient dive watch with a power reserve. I'm going to do the full review of this watch and also compare it to the other watch here because they're kind of in the same family. Orient didn't give this watch a name like a Kamasu, a Mako or a Triton, they kind of just give it a reference number, but it's kind of the same watch in design and size. And I really like this version because of the colorway, the green and the orange, I just think it's a kind of cheeky fun colorway. And also they actually PVD treated the case and the bezel, so it's kind of, so it's actually bronze. This is bronze, PVD bronze. It's not 100% bronze, but I really like the overall look. So the reference number you of course get here. You can pause the video or you can look down in the description if you want to find the reference number. These watches are priced just around 300 US dollars. Have a look on eBay or Chrono24. I found this watch at a Spanish deal on Chrono24. So it's a dive watch, it's a dive style watch, but actually I don't think that this is ISO certified. It is an in-house movement watch. And it's on the bigger side with 43.2, they actually state 43.4, but it's a little smaller than they state. The thickness is a very nice 13 millimeters, lock width of 22, just a little over 51. So it is definitely a watch on the larger side, but you can see when I show you this watch on my wrist that it's actually wearing a bit smaller than the actual size. Typical dive style watch, as you can see, you get a 120 click unidirectional bezel. It is of course not the highest quality of bezel action, but for a watch in a price of $300, I actually think that it does a really nice job. It's very accurate, just a very little back play, almost nothing at all, 120 clicks. The feeling is really nice. It's very easy to grab this coin edge. And as you know, Orient is kind of the smaller brother or the little brother to Seiko. They are within the same company. And Orient, they do a lot of sports watches, also dress watches. You might know the Orient Bambino. And compared to Seiko, I actually think that Orient is a really, really nice value deal because they actually always align with the bezel and that's a big problem for Seiko. So never had any problems with uh, Orients and I owned a lot of the different Orient watches. I really look forward to also comparing this to the Triton you saw just a little while ago. As I said before, we get this high polish on the side. This is of course, as I said, bronze PVD coated and I really like the colorway. I really think it's just a really nice colorway combined with the dark green color. And as you can see, it's not a sunburst, it's this kind of deep dark green, which looks really, really nice. You get a loom pip at 12 o'clock, really nice applied hour markings. And let's just have a look at the loom while we're at it. Of course, as we know, Orient is great loom, just like Seiko. So we get some really, really nice loom with this watch. It is an aluminum bezel insert. And as you can see here, we get this kind of arrow style or spear style hour hand down here and then we get this sword style minute hand. I really like the orange pop on the tip of the second hand as you can see because it really just looks cool with the orange. The date window just like the signed crown which is of course a screw down crown is down here at four o'clock which is a really nice detail as well. This is an in-house movement from Orient. It has a power reserve of approximately 40 hours and a beat weight rate of 21,600 vibrations per hour. As you can see on your screen now, it's of course not a super accurate movement, but I think that seven to nine seconds plus a day is definitely acceptable for a movement in this price range. I think it does a quite okay job. 200 meters of water resistance, 
A really nice crown action is very easy to unscrew as, and as you can see it's kind of a big crown. Crown guards. I really like that they place it at 4 o'clock just like they did with the SKX, the Seiko SKX and of course also with the Triton Big Brother because it really doesn't butter your wrist and that's really nice because as it is a bigger watch it can really just be a little annoying on your wrist if you have the crown at 3 o'clock but not on this watch. So just unscrew the crown. As you can see it's a hacking movement. You have manual winding which is really really nice. And I just wanted to just remove the hands here so you can see what we have here. So Japan movement mortar resistant to 20 bar. They don't call this a diver's watch like they do on the Trident as you can see here diver. And that's probably because it's not ISO certified. This is kind of the answer to the Trident and the other quality Orient dive watches like the 5KX, the 5 sports line of new Seiko watches is to the SKX. So it's kind of a more fashion or, or, or easy or a little more affordable version of its bigger brother. Of course Orient logo at 12 o'clock and you've seen automatic. So let me just screw in the crown again. Really nice. It, encompass, it comes on this green NATO strap. Actually I, I'm quite okay with the quality. It is not the softest. We get a lot of holes which is a really cool thing because then it will fit a lot of different wrist sizes. Also a cool detail is that the hardware is also treated with this kind of bronze PVD which is really nice so no stainless steel or the grayish stainless steel color on this one which is a really nice detail I think. And you, as you can see on the top of the locks here a very nice brushing. So overall I actually like the, the finish and the the quality of this watch. It is of course not a Rolex or Omega or anything like that but it's it does a really nice job. So having a look at the case back you get this kind of dolphin engraving here. All the different details. It is a stainless steel grey case back as you can see. So of course a true drive dive watch would be a little bit weird to be wearing on a NATO strap because a nasal strap isn't uh, the, the best thing in the water, it's very secure, but if it gets wet it can get a little bit damaged. So you can definitely look into finding a nice green rubber strap for this one. And this is how this kind of Trident Light, if that's the name for this watch, looks on my 18 cm wrist in circumference. As you can see I can easily pull it off. I have absolutely no feeling that this watch is too big and I think it wears really nicely on the NATO strap although you actually add a couple of millimeters on the NATO strap with the NATO strap. I think it's a really cool kind of summer watch but it's also kind of a, a nice winter watch in fact because of the coloring. So this colorway really goes nicely with the colors during the fall and the winter. So all in all I'm really happy with this watch. I'm pleasantly surprised. It's of course not a top luxury watch. But you get an in-house movement, a nice aligned bezel with 120 clicks, a really nice bronze PVD treated case, a nature strap which isn't the best quality but it's acceptable, 200 meters of water resistance, a screw down crown, hacking manual winding, all the good stuff, also a loom pip at 12 o'clock as you can see, just a loom plot. I have no big quarrels with this watch, it is what it is. It's a $300 watch and for $300 you get what you get. Not very original if you look at the Trident, but a very fun watch I really enjoy having in my collection and I actually been wearing this watch a little more than I anticipated wearing this watch. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it's a big help. Leave a comment down below, give me a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Also wait until I do the comparison with the real Trident and if you're interested in just seeing a little more details of this watch you can click in the link down in the description you can see my first impressions unboxing video of this new Orient watch. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.